Thinking about your future self is complicated and as scary as math. But thinking about your future self is more scarier than math. Why is that? Because math, if you think about harder enough, you'll get the answer, whether it's right or wrong. But the future, there is no right or wrong. There's only directions. Math has its own theory, but future doesn't have any theory. Hello everyone, my name is Anna, and I'm here to give you a speech about my future self. My future self, or my dream, is to become my father's successor. Well, basically my father's business inherited to me. So, my reason why I choose to be my uh, father's inheritance is because that I respected my father and I wanted to do good things in the name of his, by credit to him. Because this is his business, he started it, but I just keep it moving on. So, to achieve that, I have to work hard, of course. Because if I only speak about that, it's just going to be a total of waste of time and a waste of energy. So my uh, passion is to learn about economics. So I once go to a, so a psychiatrist. Uh, she told me that I am actually very good at social. So at high school, I choose to be an EPAS student. At that time, I started learning about economics. I started learning about sociology and stuff like that. that I could improve my uh, business and management or economic, uh, what's it called, knowledge so that I would understand more about how do I manage my father's business. And then, of course, this passionate, all of these passionate things is having up and downs. I, of course, felt lonely, sad, and sometimes stressed. And even though stress, uh, I show it to people sometimes. And it's a good thing. Yeah. I have a friend called Ali. He always reminds me to always smile and always be positive. This man is like a bright sunshine for me. This man always backs me up when I feel down. But sometimes that thing is not enough to erase this darkness inside of me. So, I, some, uh, I once cried a lot because of how many people like mocks me because I'm the first one to go to masjid and how I always uh, study a lot instead of playing on and they mock me about something like that. Yes, basically peer uh, pressure. Then, I talked to my father. I say this, that I felt sad, I felt depressed. What should I do if I was like this? I was learning a lot, but then my friends kept on bothering me. What should I do? I can't just ignore them because they are so noisy that I can't even focus. Then my father once said this to me, Son, I have only one word for you. A leader never ever suffered from defeat, never ever suffered from loneliness, never ever suffered from sadness, even never ever make big or small mistakes. So all of this, all of this that you are suffering right now is just a part of the process for you to measure up. Your high school time is your time. The time for you to get back up and keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. That is one nice word. You see, to keep on moving forward, you have to have a strong mental. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to just move at your own. You don't have to rely on somebody else to achieve that what you want in the future. Yes, of course, sometimes you have to move from without motivation. Sometimes you have to move without people backing you up or like scream at you, go, 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 go. Which is very sad. So you have to keep on moving forward by your own. But you have to have the passion to it. You have to love what you're doing right now. So all my friends that is lost, and sad and well just never had a chance to talk to somebody about this trust me trust on the process and keep back your feet up and keep on moving forward thank you for listening to my speech assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh